everyone. It's Trend Trader here. Welcome to another market analysis and trade update. Today we'll be looking at a couple of companies that you want to add into our portfolio and some companies that are on our watch list. And as usual, uh, this is our risk disclaimer. So everything that is shared on this channel is not to be used for investment purposes. A trend trader will not be liable for any profit or losses that result from the use of the material that is presented uh, in this channel. Uh, okay, now we can begin. So there was some market movement last week. We saw that uh, now Bitvest is giving us a buy signal. When we look at Bitvest last week, it crossed above the 200 day exponential moving average from about 155 rand per share, then it spiked all the way up to about 170 rand per share. So for those people who missed uh, that entry, the market started to retrace back to the breakout level at 155 rand per share. So now it gives you another opportunity to buy this stock. Uh, now it's a favorable risk to reward ratio because we'll be buying at an area of value. So now uh, for those who didn't buy, now is the right time to buy to add this onto your portfolio with your stop loss set to 1.580 are below the 200 day exponential moving average. So from there on, you will see how Bitvest will go, uh, is going to continue to trade, whether it will continue to trade higher or it will reverse and close below the 200 day moving average, which should then trigger a sell signal. Another stock that caught our interest is Invicta. We spoke about Invicta in one of the previous analysis that is uploaded on YouTube. So now, as you can see in our in the first attempt, Invicta traded above the 200 day moving average a bit for quite some time. Then it retraced closing below, hitting our stop loss. But now it's back uh, once again. It has closed above the 200 day moving average. So it's giving us another entry opportunity. So we'll be adding uh, Invicta into our portfolio as well. And then again, the stop is 1.580 or below the 200 day exponential moving average. Uh, a new stock that just uh, caught our attention is Long for Life, as you can see. Long for Life has been trading below the 200 day moving average for quite some time, so it's been trading lower. But recently, it started to consolidate, as you can see, this consolidation period. And then uh, last week, it attempted to break and close above the 200 day moving average. So now uh, it's, this is another stock that will be adding onto our portfolio. This is our entry signal. We'll be adding this. And something to note is that uh, this close, there was a huge spike on the volume indicator here. So now it shows that there are buyers uh, that are buying this stock at this level. So we'll be adding long for life. And then uh, I think last week we touched into MTN to say that MTN has been trading below the 200 day moving average. But as you can see, at this level, MTN started to break out the 200 day moving average. So for everyone that uh, was able to buy this level, you would have made about eight rand per share profit, depending on the value of your account. But for each share, it's about eight rand per share price increase. So we're still long on MTN group, but just in case you missed uh, MTN group and you're looking to invest in a telecommunications company, another stock that gave us a nice end last week was Telecom Group. As you can see, for quite some time, Telecom has been trading lower. Yeah, just shout a lot of investors' money. And then now it started to consolidate a bit, attempted to break above the 200 day moving average, but it failed, it came back, retraced. But as you can see that this low is higher than this low. So that is a characteristic of an uptrend. So now the stock is back once again on the 200 day moving average. It closed above, we 200 day, 200 day moving average. And we took, uh, that gave us a buy signal and we took a position there. So we are holding telecom as we speak. As you can see, we bought somewhere around 31 rand per share. The current price is 34 rand per share. So if you took that position, you would be sitting at least 30 rand per share profit. But then again, anything can happen. The stock can still retrace, but at this moment, it's a favorable uh, entry point because it's close to an area of value. So now we'll be holding telecom 
as well in addition to MTN, but it's better to just choose one. If you're gonna buy it now, you might as well buy Telcom because Telcom is still very close to an area of value. And then uh, previously we spoke about banks. We said that it seems like there's a sector rotation. We see some funds being channeled into the banking sector. So all the banks or most of the major banks, Standard Bank, Net Bank, First Rent, uh, okay, NetBank, I think we've already counted NetBank, are showing characteristics of an uptrend. So now if you are confused, you don't know which bank to own between all the four banks, excluding Capitec. Capitec, that ship has already saved. Now it's far from an arrow field. Buying it from now, it's not uh, recommended. But if you are looking at the other four banks, and you, you are confused which bank to buy, you can also look at the, fini, uh, the financial sector so the financial sector there's an index for it an index for it and then there's an etf for it satrix fin so you can just buy the satrix fin which will give you exposure to all the major banks in the country and also some other financial companies such as insurance companies so last week uh, we got a signal on satrix fin when satrix crossed above the 200 day exponential moving average we took that position. So far, it's still uh, below our enterprise, but before that, it did trade a bit higher, and then it retraced, uh, but it hasn't reached the, the stop level. So we are still holding that position. Uh, we'll be holding this position instead of picking uh, one bank, uh, because now there's a lot of things that you have to look into if you want to choose a specific bank. Probably we have to look at the balance sheet of each bank and a lot of other stuff. But uh, if you just look at the ETF, the ETF will give you an exposure. It will help you to diversify over all the banking sector. Probably it will help you to minimize the risk. And then uh, finally, another stock that we are looking at is uh, Hyprop. Hype, so Hyprop has been trend, trending lower, also busy charging investors money, but now it started to consolidate since around um, March of this year, 2020. It's been consolidating for quite some time and there was some attempt for the stock to close above the 50-day moving average. It did fail a couple of times and then recently, it managed to break above the 50 day moving average, retraced, found support. So now the stock is sandwiched between the 50 day moving average and the 200 day moving average. So that one is on our watch list. We'll be watching it to see whether it closes and break above the 200 day exponential moving average. And then if it does uh, close above this 200 day moving average, it will give us uh, a price signal. Otherwise, if it close below, then uh, we won't be taking any position because we would want to take a position when <clears throat> it's trading above. So those are the two scenarios that we are looking uh, with the stock. A break and close above the 100 day moving average will see us buying the stock. But if the stock find resistance again at the 200 day moving average, then it will continue to trade lower, of which we stay on the sideline. So that's it uh, for this week. We just have uh, a short market analysis because it's not every day that there's something to buy. If there's something to buy, you buy. If there's nothing to buy, it's still better to sit on the sidelines, sit on the cash, just wait for the position. If you enjoy the content of this channel, now it's the right time to click the subscribe button and the notification icon. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. We will attend to them and get back to you. And then just a quick recap. We are looking to add long for life. We already have a buy signal there. So we'll be buying that stock. We will also be adding Bitvest uh, for those who haven't added yet. Now it's another opportunity to add. And we are also okay, we've added Telecom Group. We've already added MTN, but uh, Telecom Group is at the right position to buy uh, again. And also we are looking at Invicta. We'll be taking the Invicta position once again, despite the fact that uh, the previous attempt failed. So that's it. Sometimes some trades work, sometimes they don't work. And all you have to do as a trader or as an investor is to minimize the loss on each position, meaning that you must have a predetermined uh, stop, stop level. Whenever it's hit, 
we just exit. We don't stay in hope that it will reverse because not always that it does uh, reverse. And if it doesn't reverse, we don't want your money to be out by the market. So that's it for this week. We hope that we have another profitable trading week. Uh, all we can say is all the best. We hope that your equity curve is growing every day.